We are counting down the top 10 West Indies greatest test victories of all time that not only defined an era, but also inspired a legacy. These are the moments where legends were born, records were shattered, and the West Indies etched their name into the cricketing folklore. Thank you for joining me again, brother. Thanks for having me back on the show, Nabil. Mark, what pick are we going with for number 10 as the top 10 greatest test victories for West Indies? Yes, I'm going to start West Indies versus New Zealand. The second test, 2014. West Indies won by 10 wickets. New Zealand batted first and scored 221 all out. West Indies 460 all out. Craig Braffitt got a century. Darren Bravo as well when he was on top of his game. He got 109. New Zealand was 331 all out second time at bat. And West Indies 95 without loss. Chris Gale a world win 18 not out and it was very significant because West Indies had not won a test match against New Zealand for a very long time that victory 2014 remarkable victory for West Indies against the Kiwis I think Jerome Taylor and Suleiman Ben led that bowling attack Taylor taking four wickets in the first inning and leading the charge one of the great test victories in the West Indies history and let us know what you guys think and we would love to know your top 10 greatest test victories of all time as you guys have been engaging our other ranking videos Mark, that was our number 10. Move on to number 9, Mark. Who are we going with on number 9, man, for this video? West Indies versus South Africa only test, 1992, when South Africa started back to play test cricket. Uh, it was at Bridgetown. It was a very good test match. Most of the South Africans were making their debut. There was a protest in that match as well, because West Indies did not select the local player, Anderson Cummings. So the Barbadians supporters did not support the test match, so they boycott the test match. But West Indies batted first and scored 262 all out. South Africa, 345 all out. West Indies second innings was 283 all out. South Africa, 148 all out. And the last day, South Africa only need 79 more runs to win the test match. And they were skittled out for 148. At one time in the match, they were 123 for two. They were skittled out for 148. It was a masterclass bowling by Curtly Ambrose and Courtney Walsh, just both bowlers who bowled all day for West Indies and took them to that victory, that famous victory. Ambrose was bowled 24 overs and 4 balls, 7 maidens, 34 runs, 6 wickets. Courtney Walsh backed up well with 22 overs, 10 maidens, 31 runs, 4 wickets. Remarkable cricket. What a combo, a deadly combo of these two guys. This historic match marked South Africa's return to international cricket, let's not forget, after their apartheid-induced isolation. That's dead in turn number 8 now, Mark. Want to let the viewers know what our pick number 8 is. Yes, the second test, West Indies versus Sri Lanka June 2003. Uh, West Indies won by 7 wickets. It was a low-scoring match. West Indies, Sri Lanka batted first and scored 208 all out. Uh, West Indies won 90 one all out. Sri Lanka second time at bat 194 all out. West Indies 212 for three. Tawan and getting 82 and Brian Lara getting 80 and it was very significant because West Indies hadn't won a match against Sri Lanka in many years. So beating them in our own backyard, it was a remarkable victory for West Indies. Some shout outs there to Fidel Edwards who took a 5 for in the first innings, 5 for 36 and 15.4 overs and in the second innings I believe we had Corey Collymore take a 7 for, 7 for 57 Notable performances there with Lara and Sarwan scoring 80s in the second innings. Uh, you know, obviously win this game for Wendy's. Yeah, we could have some side note, and that was Fidel Edwards' first test series. Remember, yeah. Fidel Edwards got selected in West Indies just after bowling to Brian Lara in the Nets. That was something to add as well. Yeah, absolutely, man. And even Corey Collymore, you know, he was a bit underrated. And Jerome Taylor was in that bowling lineup as well. It was a decent, decent bowling lineup from the Wendy's, and they did super, super well in that test match. That's a Pick number eight, you guys will be surprised. You know our pick number four and obviously pick number one. So stay tuned. Let us know what you guys think of our pick so far. Mark, let's get into a number pick number seven, man. Who are we going with? on number seven. West Indies versus Pakistan 2001. The third test. West Indies won by one wicket at the Antigua Recreation Ground. Pakistan batted first and scored 269. West Indies 273 all out. Pakistan second time at bat 219 all out. West Indies second time at bat chased in 216 for 9. Courtney Walsh, brilliant for not out. And Captain Jimmy Adams made possible 48 not out. From the Pakistan perspective, I believe Muhammad Yusuf scored 100 in the first inning with Inzi getting getting a 50 as well as some notable performances. 89 from Shivnarayan Chandrapal, 60 from Jimmy Adams, the skipper, you know, in that first inning reply. And then Inzi again scoring a 68 and Muhammad Yusuf 42 in that match. Bowlers shared the wickets. I don't see notable performances. Akra- Wasim Akram got a 
out of five for in that match economical as ever so that was our number seven guys uh let us know again what you guys think on these picks number six man who are we going with yes we're going to west indies versus england at lords 1984 but that was a match when gordon greenwich played that remarkable innings of 214 not out England batted first and scored 286, West Indies 245. Second in England, India, England was 300 for nine declared. England had the upper hand, whole match, up until the last day of the match. England giving West Indies 242 for victory, and West Indies scored 344 for one. Gordon Greenwich, superb, 214 not out, supported by Larry Gomes, the Rock of Gibraltar, pins taking 92, played well in the supporting role. Great victory, come back from behind for West Indies in that match a lot yeah, absolutely man and malcolm marshall you know leading from the front six wickets i believe in the first inning oh i think one of our next video guys going to be the unsung heroes of west indian cricket so a lot of the names that you may not hear in the top 10 but may be deserving for a spot in that list we're going to talk about some of those names mark and i in the coming videos as well as top 10 spinners wicket keepers fielders and all sorts of other rankings mark and i are working on for you guys so make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and check out out our membership and a reverse group shop number five man who are we going with on number five now? yeah west indies versus india 1997 third test west indies won by 38 runs west indies 298 all out shiv shanda paul a magnificent 137 not out india 319 all out sachin tendulkar 92 frank and rose 22 overs four men 77 runs four wickets west indies 140 collapse in the second innings india in their second innings had a collapse as well it was skittled out for 81 runs Ambrose with 3 for 36 Bishop with 4 for 22 Franklin Rose with 3 for 19 gave good support that was a remarkable test match as, test match again again West Indies we didn't have any victory against India for a while as well and that was a great victory by the West Indies team coming from behind again one of the reasons why Narayan Chandra Paul was so good was his ability to provide stability into that batting order right and this is a perfect perfect example of the kind of quality you know he was uh, able to kind of bring to the West Indian cricket that 137 not out in the first innings was the biggest reason why they won this match if Chandra Paul didn't score that century I think West Indies could have could have had a different result respect that if, I believe needs to be earned for a guy like Shiv you know and we named him in her top 10 so let's get into our number four now Mark who are we going with on number four yes this is West Indies versus England in 1930 West Indies first test victory in the history of West Indies cricket at border 1930. West Indies, 289 runs. Won that match by, by 289 runs. West Indies batted first and scored 471 all out. Clifford Roach, the opening batsman from Trinidad. Superb, 209. Dodge Headley, a brilliant 114. England was skidded out for 145. Francis got 4 for 40. Larry Constantine, the great all-rounder, got 4 for 35. West Indies, second time at bat, 290 all out. George Headley scoring 112. Two centuries in, in the match, a century in each inning. England in the second inning was skittled out for 327 and Larry Constantine had remarkable figures of 40 overs, 17 maidens, 87 runs, 5 wickets, giving West Indies their first victory by 289 runs versus England in Test cricket. Remarkable. Yeah, really, truly remarkable, man. George Headley, two centuries in that match. Uh, Clifford Roach, as Mark mentioned, a double 100, 209. And in no time as well, like he played at a high, high clip, was in a no-nonsense type of a mood. Shout out, I want to give to Snuffy Brown, score to 70, coming in at number nine in the tail. These kind of performances, right, comes out of nowhere. Even in those days, I'm sure there was not a lot of expectations for a number nine to come and score a 70. So I'm sure this was this was like a big, big, big deal, man, back in the day. Yeah, Snuffy Brown was a good all-around cricketer for his um, territory. He, he caught a few runs as well, so it wasn't really surprising. It just mean when West Indies have a lot of players from different territories and islands, you, you never really bat in the position you really want to bat in. Whatever the management is fit for you to come in and play your role. He just he just scored one six, but showed his temperament, right? Because he batted time, which is which is what was required. Batted with George Headley to you know, build up that score. So that was our number four, guys. Getting into our top three now. Drum roll. Mark, let the viewers know, man, what our pick number three is. Some would say one of the best victories in West Indies cricket history. West Indies won by three wickets versus Australia basically coming back from behind in the four tests. West Indies, Australia batted first and scored 240 all out. That was a match where Jermaine Lawson 
that his career best of 7 for 78. He bowled at real pace and hostility. West Indies scored 240, the same amount of runners Australia in, this, in their first time at bat. Brian Lara getting 68. The second innings, Australia scored 417 all out. Matthew Hayden, 177. And Justin Langer, 111, put on a marathon opening partnership. Then West Indies tracing down over 400 and the last day for victory, score 418 for seven. Ramnari Sharon, a superb 105 and great support again by Shipshanda Paul, a magnificent 104, giving West Indies a victory in that four test match. Yeah, it was a record breaking chase. The West Indies successfully hunted down 418 in the final innings, which is unheard of still these days in test cricket to chase down such a big total. And Antigua and the highest successful chase in test cricket at that time. Whenever we see these test matches we know test cricket is super alive and well if you are that cricket lover that have the heart for test cricket and love for cricket make sure to smash the like button because it apparently helps the algorithm out last two mark we're getting into the last two man let the viewers know what our number two is yes west indies won by one wicket versus australia that was a, a great test match as well that's the test match where brian lara i think scored his greatest innings for west indies 153 not only that was 1999 in Barbados. So Australia batted first and scored 490 all out. Steve War 199, Ricky Ponting 104. West Indies 329 all out. Showing Campbell, the Barbadian open batsman 105. Australia's second time at bat was scheduled for 146. Courtney Ward getting 5 for 39. West Indies and the chase, 311 for nine. Brian Lara, 153, not out. And Courtney Walsh at the other end, blocking for Lara to finish in the last couple of overs. That was a real beautiful test match. The atmosphere was electric. The crowds was jumping and stand, stomping. It was like a carnival atmosphere. I was watching live. That was a great knock by Brian Lara. I always, that's why I always respect Brian Lara. At that time in particular, he came up with the goods and gave West Indies that victory. You know, sometimes you make runs, and West Indies still lose. But when you make runs and West Indies win, it's a great feeling. That's why he's regarded as one of the greatest is what was his ability to win single hand, put the game on his back and take the game away from the opposition. Amazing, amazing game. And before we get into our number one, make sure to, again, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and check out our reverse group shop. Check out our membership section as well as you'll find different products on, on the shop that supports youth cricket development in USA. I want to do this number one a little bit differently this time. I want you to tell viewers about, about the details of number one but exactly don't announce it until after giving them the details. So there's going to be a twist there in the number one. Okay, so West Indies batted first and scored 252 all out. Australia batted first and scored, replying to West Indies, scored 213 all out. West Indies in the second innings, 146 all out. And Australia chased in 185 all out for 184. Great bowling by Ambrose in the first innings, 28 overs and two balls, six maidens, 74 runs, six wickets. And in the second innings, Ambrose again, 26 overs, five maidens, 46 runs, four wickets, supported by Courtney Walsh, 19 overs, four maidens, 44 runs, three wickets. And you would always think West Indies bowling lineup only had two bowlers, Ambrose and Walsh, because so many times both bowling in partnership and tandem produce victories for West Indies. So Courtney Walsh bowling to Craig McDermott. McDermott was the last to go, caught Junior Murray. Murray bowled Courtney Walsh trying to leave the ball shoulder and arms, but the ball came off his gloves and Junior Murray took a brilliant catch. If you guys haven't guessed this match yet, Mark, do you want to announce what match it was? Yes, it was the Fortest 1993 in Adelaide, Australia. West Indies won by one run. There you have it, guys. It was that match. And if you haven't checked out our rankings on the top 10 greatest West Indies captains of all time, find it on the screen right here. Thank you, Mark, for joining me. Mark Audain and Nabil Khan from the Reverse Scoop signing off. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.